To show you how Gitkraken and Glowboard stands out from the competition, here are 10 ways Glowboards are more productive than Trello. Trello opens a modal and locks your screen when you click to view a card, which makes it more time consuming to browse or quickly double check a card. The Glow UI features a non-intrusive details pane on the right for quick access to more information. It updates instantly when you click another card and use keyboard shortcuts like J and K to select other cards. With Trello search, you type your search string first and then hit enter to review the results. If you want to use card filters, you'll find them buried in the menu. In Glow, just start typing and your search results update with each additional character. And the card filters work right there in your search bar. For example, you can type at username to filter items by the assigned user. You can use hashtags to filter by labels and you can even filter by due dates. In Trello, when you click a user icon, it opens up a modal to view that user's activity and a few other things. However, when you click a user icon in Glow, it will filter your board to show only cards assigned to the selected user. And because cards can be assigned to multiple people in Glow, you can click multiple nodes to see items assigned to a duo or a team. If you want a calendar view in Trello, you'll first need to apply the calendar power-up to your account. If you're already using your one free power-up, you'll be prompted to upgrade to Trello Business Class, a paid plan. In Glow, there's a free built-in calendar view. Here you'll see labels at a glance, and you can click on cards to view more information. Speaking of calendar view, in Glow, the left panel shows a list of cards that have no due dates, which makes it easy to identify cards that need a due date. Just drag and drop to assign when they are due. You can drag and drop to assign the due date to another day, and you can click on any day to create a card that will be due on that day. You probably picked up that by default, Trello comes in basic blue. With Glow, you have options. Glow has a dark theme, a glow theme, and if you're not ready to come over to the dark side just yet, we have a light theme too. Trello doesn't officially support GitHub issue sync. Glow provides a sleek integration and it's included for free. When you sync a glow board with GitHub issues, you're able to visualize the progress of GitHub issues through your workflow. You can create different workflows and labels for each board and add additional users and security permissions. And because Glowboard sync in real time with GitHub issues, changes made in either system are immediately reflected in the other. So Trello doesn't offer Atom or VS Code plugins, but Glow can be accessed directly in the Git Kraken Git client through a web browser or by using the Atom or VS Code plugins. This makes it easy to make a change to your project and then move or update your Glow card. All right, this one's just for Glow. Get Kraken lets you link a Glow board to your current repository, saving time clicking around and switching tools. At the end of the day, it really comes down to the way you work and which tool supports your needs. We saw an opportunity to do task tracking differently and design Glow to be more productive for developers. So put Get Kraken Glow boards to the test and find out how much more work you can get done. <laughs>